I really like this. I think this is an improvement. It's very similar yeah. to the Breeze. Everything's light. I happen to like. Do you like this? The slide is painted, but it doesn't match. I don't know if that's a cost savings or for some reason engineering. It does a lot of things. Some things that could be improved. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. And behind us, we have a brand new model for Tiffin. This is the 2024 Tiffin Byway. This is the model 33 FL. So the byway, the, the new model for Tiffin is their entry level into the diesel. And this is much more affordable than some of the other ones behind us. And we're going to talk about the price, both the MSRP and the show price, because we are at the Hershey RV show. This is a really nice motorhome. If somebody looking to get into a diesel motorhome, it does a lot of things really good. Some things that could be improved, but I, overall, it's a really nice start for Tiffin. So coming right up front, guys, first thing right away, it has the automotive style windshield, meaning you don't have that big fat gasket it just kind of seals right in it's very clean looking and the whole front is super clean looking at this price point you don't have the 360 camera system you don't have any kind of lane mitigation but it functions behind here you're going to have an 8,000 watt diesel generator which is pretty awesome then you have your projector headlights i always like how tiffin does the front it's very aero looking very clean looking full body paint on this and i like this paint job because it's simple it doesn't have all the swirls and all the craziness it's just a really well done you have the diamond shield up front to protect everything when you're going down the road from the bugs the debris and it kind of goes all the way around they also put it around the key points where you will use your keys we're in high traffic areas and you can see it covers all of the bumper over here and then you have your chromed out bus style mirrors cameras right here they usually put it down here but it does have a camera for the blind spot you'll be able to see the traffic when you're making those lane changes on the class a motorhomes this is all a big blind spot when you're in the driver's side so that's a really good thing to have both for convenience and safety gerard awning over the entryway something that we like and then they also add a gutter so you don't have the integrated gutter system meaning it doesn't go through the roof shoot down it comes out over this side but they do give you the extension so it's not running down the side of your coach so as in typical tiffin fashion you have the emblem here with roughing it smoothly another thing they do really nice here i like the window that they put here a lot of coaches don't do that and then a nice heavy door door with the tension hinge and if you notice the power steps only even though there's two steps there's not a lot of that's one of the lowest steps I've seen. Yeah, this is really good. This will accommodate everybody, which is nice. Another thing that Tiffin does, they kind of give you that, that little doggy window, but on the inside, they have a screen and then they also have like a metal protection. So if you do have pets, they'll scratch it, but they won't rip up the screen. So you have frameless windows throughout here. Now the full body paint, the slide is painted, but it doesn't match. Now Tiffin did get away from, I think all their models, they used to have the seamless slides, but you don't have that. on here anymore i don't know if that's a cost savings or for some reason engineering if you know put it in the comments below now continuing down on the passenger side you see a full pretty large slide this really opens up inside this is a 35 foot two inch coach and it's really really nice the front tire here a little bit small something that maybe could be improved because this is the same size that we have 255 80 22 and a half they are on the chrome that wheels and you do have michelin tire standard this is not an all-electric coach so you see here you have your propane and beta number one bay number two and bay number three are storage now you do have the aluminum doors tiffin is known for you have pass-through storage but this is not on a raised rail chassis so you see the frame there the chassis something we really don't like now you're going to get more storage on here than on a gas motorhome you'll have more power but you do lose storage compared to the raised rail chassis motorhomes bay number three is a little bit more storage now with these aluminum doors it's so easy to close these guys i'm just going to give it a little effort and that's it another thing i like on here simple latches nothing electronic nothing fancy here's the exhaust for your suburban heat and then on the outside first of all really nice secure latch with a key lock and they give you an lg television with a sound bar so that's really nice here's going to be the venting i don't know if that's for your washer dryer that might be for your no, refrigerator that's, that's the kitchen yeah okay so that's be for your refrigerator continuing down the back here you have a second slide more gerard awnings you have slide toppers the gerard awnings are not the integrated ones into the body they're kind of bolted on on this slide but they still do the same job last two bays here you have your two batteries for your chassis they give you a little bit of space here and then you have some more electronics stuck in here and then a simple 
little bay. What I do like is that they give you a light and they kind of finish it out with that, that rhino lining, that bed liner type of material. Now finishing up on the passenger side, you do have the Truma AquaGo that's going to be your endless hot water. So as long as you have propane and you have water, you will continue getting hot water and they do paint it to match the body. Now moving on to the back, this is offered by Colton RV. They're out of New York. And you can see the back, they have a small camera, rear view camera. I do like how they finish up the top. It kind of give it a fin going over the top. It's a nice look. Easy access to, this, to get to the motor. Now this is a, a rear mounted radiator. So it's gonna take a little more work to get in here, but as far as the release, it's very simple. No air, none of that. I would have liked to seen a key on here because anybody could get access to this. Not a big fan of that. One of the drawbacks of this guy's 5,000 pounds of towing. That's just what it is. So that, that's somewhere that maybe could be improved. Now, continuing down on the driver's side, you have your power cord with your transfer switch. It is not powered. It's a manual, so you just kind of have to wrap that up on yourself. One of the big improvements this year, guys, the Schwintech slides, very notorious for having problems. Tiffin got away from them. So everything is on hydraulic slides this year. And there's your pump for your hydraulic slides. You also have your DEF fill over here. They don't give you an access door, which would have been nice to have. You do have, of course, hydraulic levelers on here to level out the coach. Now, continuing down on the driver's side, here is your wet bay. You have your tank flush, all your connections. There's no power hose, everything will be manual. You have your dumps over here. We'll give you all the specs a little bit later on this video. You also do have two GFCI outlets, control for your water pump, outdoor shower. Everything you need is right in this bay. Moving along, the other side of those two pass-through storage bays. And then you do have your batteries, four house batteries. They're not lithium and they are out on a slide. So if you need to service them, it makes it a lot easier. And then your final bay up front, you have some electronics, breakers. You also have connection for air and you do have your, pull this little lever here, you'll slide out your front access to your generator. So as you can see, some of the specs here, it's under Freightliner. XCS straight rail chassis, rear engine diesel, Cummins B6.7, 340 horsepower, 700 foot pounds of torque. It does come with the Allison 2500 transmission, 160 amp alternator, 5,000 pounds on the hitch capacity. 35 feet, two inches overall length. Overall height is 1210, the width is 101. Interior height is 84 inches, interior width 96 inches. Square footage is approximately 330 square feet. The basement storage approximately 71 cubic feet. The front axle is 10,000 pounds, rear axle 18,000 pounds, gross vehicle weight rating 28,000 pounds, maximum towing is 5,000 pounds, and then the gross combined weight rating is 33,000 pounds. You have fuel tank of 90 gallons of diesel, DEF is 13, fresh water 70 gallons, gray 50, black 50, and then as far as your LP, it's going to take 24 gallons. Before we go to the interior of this motorhome, one of the common things on motorhomes is how terrible the mattress is. And we changed the mattress on our motorhome about two years ago. We went with RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding, and they make RV specific mattresses, which is pretty awesome. And they have mattresses for even for you at your home, if you're part-time, we have one for Jason at home. They're super comfortable. They have other products such as cooling pillows and weighted blankets. Their Dream Foam Essential Mattress won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award, which was given to them because their mattress was a top pick for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort. And they do. They have a wide variety of sizes and types of mattresses. Yeah, they have all types of mattresses, like MJ said, whether you want memory foam, coils, a hybrid of both, different firmness. They have them all. They're headquartered in the USA. They make thousands and thousands of mattresses a year. They're very awesome. And also, if you don't know if you like a mattress within a week, who does? Take 120 night sleep trial period and try it out. If you don't like it, you can send it back. And since you watch this channel, we do have a discount code, which is endless. It will get you 25% off of your purchase. We love ours, guys. Jason loves his. We're going to put all their information down below. So let's start in the cockpit. It's a very basic, but very nice looking cockpit. And what I like is, as you mentioned outside, you have that little doggy door. So if your dogs like to hang out there, they can do that. Again, very basic. You have some integrated controls on your steering wheel. To your left, you have your levelers. And here is where you'll have your shade controls. So they have day and night shades, your map light and things like that. A seven inch screen here, and you'll see all your views for your cameras. So you're able to see all around, as Izzy mentioned outside. This works with Apple CarPlay. This is a touch screen. 
screen. So you have everything right at your fingertips there. I do want to mention, I said there's no 360. This is not actually like a 360. These are just the cameras. The 360, you will see like the bird's eye. So that's kind of what right. I Right. So you have a little bit of storage there. The seats, very comfortable, swivel. They're powered and reclined. Very comfortable seating with your, oops, sorry, <laughs> your, your armrests that come down. So traveling in this, you're definitely going to be comfortable. All right, so let's get started in here, guys. We'll start on this side. So you have four large cabinets in there, okay? And they do continue down, so you don't have any dividers there. You're able to put in a lot of items. And then underneath that, you have this. Now, you can option out. First of all, you can option out a lot of things. You can option down a drop-down bunk above the cockpit if you want extra sleeping space there. And I'm going to show you this. This is, comes with here. This is actually pretty. So you have your little, you know, kind of recliner theater seats. But this is very cool. You get this bed right there. Okay. That's easy is, too. Yeah, super easy to put together. It's actually easier than ours. So that is really great. So if you have, you're traveling with kids, you can get that. You can option in that bunk up there. You have this plenty of space, but it doesn't end there. I'll show you. Go ahead. You want to say something? Can you option in theater seats and not have that? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then just have the bunk. That would be yep. awesome. So then dropping, going over here, I'll show you that cabinet in a minute. So you're going to have the Euro dinette here, more sleeping space, guys. This is a dream dinette and this will just drop Drop down simply, you know, there'll be cushions and then you can turn that right into another sleeping space. Let me just lock this up here. Okay, with a nice little panoramic window there and your TV right above. There's no sound bar. You probably could option that in. There are a lot of options. So that I don't like. I don't like that it's not on a televator because tel it's kind yeah. of always there. Yeah, okay. Then over here, I was gonna show you. So you have more cabinets. Just so you notice, both slides carpeted. So if you don't like that, just be aware of that. Here's a nice cabinet area, with large, large drawers here. These are, uh, they're not dovetail. You're not at that price point really, but you do have soft clothes on all of these. Okay. So that's really nice. A lot of space in there to keep stuff. I would have loved to see a fireplace here. I wonder if you could, you might be able to option one in some beautiful artwork and then headed over to the kitchen guys, solid surface countertops. Very, very nice. Here's your sink with a stainless steel, um, sprayer okay a lot of them don't have sprayers I, I don't think I could live without a sprayer what about you <laughs> well you that's convenient. how you, you clean our dishes here's your three burner cook three bur guys it's early three burner propane cooktop by Dometic and then you will have a convection oven on here in your microwave this is an LG microwave this is huge love it that'll be your your oven there and then you do have some drawers underneath here that you can put some things and place for your garbage can that is always good and then moving into the fridge you have a nice large lg fridge here with a good size freezer as well that's interesting that it's not a lot of time on the bottom you have that yeah. pull out but that's very nice so then you have a midship bath here so this is a one bath coach again you're working with 35 feet so you have the one bath and you have some good cabinet space here beautiful sink again solid service countertops you have some outlets there more storage underneath each room of course has its lighting controls on the side and then let's take a look at the shower here pretty nice i like this. what do you like that well, i know what you're gonna say yeah, glass, yeah. Glass. i knew you were gonna say that so you have they give you a little area here right for your shampoo conditioner you do have a removable sprayer which i love the size isn't bad and the height is great you have i'm five nine i, I can ex fully extend my arm to the top of it so that's really good and throughout the coach you do have some areas where you can turn your lights on but the main is right here you have your spider system so this will be your your lights and your hvac and then you know your tank levels again here so they do the thirds like we like the percentages but you'll do your thirds here i do like it has an lp level that's nice. yeah that's pretty cool so then we're going to move into the master bedroom area it's pretty pretty nice you're going to have a king size bed here which is great and you do have to step up there all carpeted and then a lot of cabinet space up above guys this goes really deep now this is two separate so you do have a divider here so you can you know you have two separate areas there are some 110 outlets in there you have some reading lamps that's like old school like you know 1700 <laughs> <laughs> reading lamps 110 outlets on both sides which is cool and then you have a little let me just step over here so i don't fall you've got a usb there and on each side that's on both sides and a little you know a little cabinet there for your items and then you have oh hang on i just had this open before okay so you, this will light up nice cab uh sorry closet space in there okay you can hang plenty of your clothes you can even stack you know baskets or containers quick thing if somebody's asking 
the actual carrying weight, how much you can carry on here is about 4,060 pounds. There you go. Asking. The light was going on and off before too. So in here you have laundry, guys. The, the laundry is an option, just so you know, it does not come standard. This is Splendy, but this uh, coach is outfitted with the laundry. So that's where it would be. And then here's your TV. So you have an LG TV. Here's where you keep all your hashtag cable stuff. I know this is gonna be a built-in hamper, which I love a lot of them are doing this now. Isn't that awesome? So you don't have to, because in ours, we have one of those pop-up little mesh hampers that we use. That would be great to have one of those. And then just a couple drawers here for your clothes, two of those. And I like, again, soft clothes slow soft clothes and then you'll have counter here i like this if you you can put knickknacks tchotchkes like i like to say so you have all that and then you'll have your you know every window is going to have your day and night shades and then some more cabinet space there i like like the decor in here the wallpaper is really nice everything's light I, which I happen to like. Do you like this or do you yeah, like more I like, the contrast? I like this, I like this yeah. one a lot. So let's talk about the price on this MSRP as well as the sale price. And you probably saw it earlier. <laughs> we were trying to hide it, but I don't think it worked. The MSRP is $325,685. And the Hershey sale price is $279,998. Yeah, this is being offered by Colton RV, of course, as many Tiffin dealerships out there. But if you're interested, I'm sure you can contact any one of those dealerships and those prices are always negotiable. I really like this. I think this is an improvement. Put in the comments below, let us know what you think. If you like videos like this, to the left of us, we'll put our RV tours, playlist we'll put our rv newbies playlist and for myself and mj it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you on, on the road, road.